Hello, hello, Cancers. Welcome back to Queen Cancer Tarot Channel. I am the host and the creator. My name is Catherine. You can call me Queen. I'm here to bring you clarity, guidance, and love messages. I have timeless readings for our lovely Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is a general love reading, so please take this energy, how it resonates with your energy or with the energy of the person closest to you. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you are new by clicking the watermark in the bottom right hand corner of your screen that will allow your energy to flow freely through this message and all the messages I bring. Now this um, also will allow you to be subscribed and entered in your chance to win. I do a giveaway every single month around the first of the month so please check that out on the community tab um, or you can check out on the description box below to see if you are a winner all right so again i choose those uh, names randomly from the subscriber base every single month and you can win up to three times a year all right so just want to let you know that all right so we're going to get started really quickly we're going through all 12 of the signs we want to know what are their intentions towards me cancers what are their intentions towards me? All 12 of the signs. And these will be stamped in the description box below with the timestamps for each sign. And we are going to start with the water signs first, and then we will move on to the air signs. So starting with Cancer at 145. What are their intentions towards you? Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. What clarity, what guidance, what love messages do you have for Cancers? Why are they coming back in, Cancer? We have the Knight of Swords, the Eight of Wands, And the Knight of Pentacles. Cancer, I feel like if you are dealing with another Cancer, there is someone who is coming back around i feel like this person is trying to get you to um change directions on whatever way you're going they want you to go in a different direction this person is trying to come in to prove something cancer with that knight of swords um and with the knight of pentacles cancer this person is really very committed to doing so this person is coming calculated with a plan they I mean they mean business they're coming in to get cancer back they're coming in to get cancer back it's like this person is working almost while you're sleeping cancer this person is busy making things happen Tell us about the Knight of Swords, please. And you have the Three of Swords. Under the deck, you have the World. So this is an energy of someone. There was something that happened, Cancer, where you felt betrayed or either there was some third party. Um, with this world, however, Cancer, I feel like this situation or this third party situation was closed out. This cycle has ended and I feel like now this person is coming back to try to get you to take them back. Tell us about the Eight of Wands, please. Okay, that went in different directions. So we have the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the four of cups in the reverse. So again, this is this person trying to get cancer to come back home. Ten of pentacles. This talks about, you know, family, fortune. This talks about having 
you know, that inheritance, having everything you need and that person to share it with. Um, and with the four of cups in the reverse, this is cancer, you know, not accepting this person to hoping cancer is going to come back around again. And I feel like this person may be using money as a means to try to influence cancer to come back. Okay. Um, but this person is definitely trying to make things happen. Um, tell us about the Knight of Pentacles. And we have the Strength card. So Leo Energy, this person is um, definitely um, being patient here. These Both of these cards represent someone who is very patient, who is willing to do whatever it takes to get cancer back under the deck judgment this is someone who is wanting cancer to to really pay attention to them this is somebody who wants to deal with you know whatever it was they did in the past they want cancer to forgive them and this person is willing to wait as long as it takes to make it happen so if you're dealing with another cancer, that is what's going on. Moving on to Scorpio at 6.30. Holy Spirit, angels and gods. What clarity? What guidance? What love messages do you have for Cancers dealing with a Scorpio, please? We will do air signs in a part two, and then Earth, and then fire. Tell us about Cancers dealing with a Scorpio. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. What clarity? What guidance? What love messages do you have for Cancers dealing with a Scorpio, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay. So we have the Chariot. The Hanged Man. And the Seven of Pentacles. Underneath the deck here, we have the world, the ten of swords, and the seven of wands. Something just led me to pull these cards, Cancer, um, for Scorpio here. So, with the chariot, the hangman, and the seven of pentacles, Cancer, there is... An energy of someone who wants to come towards you but this person this person is waiting for something with that seven of Pentacles this talks about somebody who's waiting for something to come in or waiting on some sort of financial something to happen financially um, with that chariot energy, though, I feel like this person is is wanting to come towards you, Cancer, but it's like they're waiting on some financial reward. They're, it's like this person wants something out of it here. With the world card here, Cancer, I feel like with this energy... I feel like this person is coming towards cancer after something ended for this person. 
something ended. There's something that happened that this person was beyond their control. And now this person is like focused and has their sights set on cancer. Um, but with this hanged man and now with the Ten of Swords, again, this talks about an ending here. This talks about ending. This talks about betrayal. This talks about um, someone who is really, really failed. This person is just at a very bad place. I feel like this person is like, I want to say this person is just pretty much at rock bottom. And I feel like this person is coming towards cancer now or hoping that there is going to be some sort of financial repercussions to being with cancer or to getting with you. See, with the seven of wands, I feel like this person left with with nothing. There are two people that are like running away from a village here and they're leaving with just what they have. And I feel like, again, sevens represents problems, cancer and fear. I feel like this person is coming towards you out of fear, financial being in financial detriment here tell us about the chariot in the world please well you have the hangman in the sun there's that hangman energy again this is something someone is holding back a truth here or someone is the sun talks about the sun card talks about someone seeing the light or something being revealed or shown. And this can also talk about someone who is not sure um this person is not sure about whether or not they want, they are optimistic about something. Some, someone who is very confused about moving forward here. It's almost like with this hangman, like this person is, there's something that's very uncertain. It's almost like this person can't see which way to go this person can this person this person is very much not able to see a future for themselves after this ending whatever it was that they are coming from here and this person after things ended i feel like with cancer this person found themselves at a point where they they couldn't see their way forward here with the hanged man in the ten of swords like this person is currently struggling tell us more about the hanged man and the ten of swords and we got all these cards cancer i'm not going to take them all tell us about the hanged man and this is just holy spirit angels and guides well, we still got a bunch of cards that flipped out in the reverse. So 
we have the Knight of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the Moon all in the reverse <laughs> Cancer. So there definitely is going to be some intense argument here, Cancer, that is going to take place. With the Six of Wands in the reverse, there is someone who is really in their feelings. Um, they feel neglected. They feel like no one's paying attention to them any longer. With the moon in the reverse, this person is full of anxiety, fear. This person is afraid of what is going to happen to them. They are afraid of what's going to happen to them. And so very interesting, um, very interesting how that Knight of Swords came out like that. You know, the Knight of Swords, this is a very unpredictable energy as well, Cancer. And like I said, I'm just kind of concerned about this energy. I had pulled for Scorpio in a previous reading that I was going to do and I changed the format that I wanted to do it in Cancers. And if you go back in that reading, very same energy, very same uh, strangeness going on here. Underneath the deck, the Hierophant. The Hierophant. I feel like this person is coming in offering high levels of commitment cancer, but in essence, they are really hoping for a come up. This person is was running from something cancer. And again, with that seven of pentacles, they are looking for financial gain. Tell us about the seven of pentacles and the seven of wands. Did I say seven of swords? And there's the Six of Swords. So this person is definitely moving away from something and looking to get to a, an easier situation here. Um, underneath the deck, the Four of Cups. Cancer, this talks about someone not taking this. Someone who there's some feeling that this person is just not really feeling it there's some sort of disconnect and I feel like this is your energy coming through cancer and you kind of like being at a standoff from this person because you are just not sure about this energy this person is coming in with plain and simple so that is your person. They are coming in, Cancer, because they need to. They have to. They're running from a situation where they they left a situation where this town is pretty much in flames. And now they're running off. They left a situation in a bad way. And now they're coming off to you to cool their heels. But beware. Moving on to Pisces at 18.30. All right. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, what clarity, what guidance, what love messages do you have for cancers dealing with a Pisces, please? Okay. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. What clarity? What guidance? What love messages do you have for cancers dealing with a Pisces, please? Okay. Alrighty. And we have the Ten of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. So, Cancer, with this Ten of Wands here, and if I said Page of Wands, I apologize, but with this Ten of Wands here, Cancer, I feel like there was an issue in the past where someone was under a lot of stress, 
Um, there was just a lot of stress. This person had a lot of um, things that they were responsible for. Everything was on their shoulders, cancer. Um, and I feel like it, you know, maybe this person left, you know, because they couldn't take it. Um, with the Page of Cups, there's this energy of someone who is very much coming in wanting to apologize or wanting to talk about a situation to come to terms. Um, this is a lighthearted talk, Cancer, maybe somebody wanting forgiveness, um, but definitely somebody coming back in um, because there was a lot of drama in the past that was caused here. With this Knight of Wands energy, this represents an energy of somebody who is really um, kind of wanting to go off in a different direction. This person does not necessarily want to be uh, tied down in uh, a relationship or this person, again, this person is very passionate, very hot tempered. So somebody, when this person comes back in, somebody is not going to be happy about it. Let's clarify here. Tell us about this Ten of Wands, please. Well, and we have the Fool and the Strength card here. I feel like there was someone cancer that left when things got tough. I feel like somebody cut and run in the situation when you were holding down the fort underneath the deck. You have the Ace of Wands in the reverse, Cancer. This is a situation where somebody lacks commitment. This is somebody who started off, you know, being committed to a situation. And then they, it's like out of the blue, they cut and run. I have very few cards that are in the reverse here, but I do have some, Cancer. And this is one of them. This is one of them. So, yeah. And now this person is coming in for an apology. Tell us about the Page of Cups, please. I feel like they're not really acknowledging what they did, Cancer. The Hierophant, the Four of Cups, and the Eight of Swords, Cancer. This person felt trapped. This person felt trapped with the Hierophant and the Four of Cups. I feel like this person is now coming in, Cancer, offering this apology wanting commitment now but with the four of cups like you're not accepting it the eight of swords like this person is just they're trying to explain that they they just felt trapped in this situation with the wheel of fortune things have changed things have changed now they're coming in for good intentions but you don't believe it cancer with the knight of wands tell us about the knight of wands please Somebody is going in a different direction. Well, let's see. Oh, well, look at who we've got. Queen of Cups in the reverse. That's you, Cancer. You are pissed off. You are not ready to forgive this person. You, you know, there was a situation where you felt like you put more work in than your other person did. Just like here, Cancer, you held it down. You held down the fort. And you have the two of pentacles in the reverse. Clearly, this represents someone who things were very messy and imbalanced. You did all the work, Cancer, and you are pissed off about it. And look at this, though. We have the seven of swords in the reverse. This talks about someone who is coming clean, Cancer. They no longer want to play games. They no longer want to have this situation. They want to work things out with you. Again, Wheel of Fortune definitely let us know this. Um, this person is coming in wanting something new. So very beautiful energy for you, uh, 
Cancers dealing with the Pisces. That ends this series of Cancers and Water Signs. What are their intentions towards you? We are going to be coming back looking at the air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius coming up next. I love you guys so very, very much. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. See you soon. Bye.